Hello everyone, you're welcome to another episode of Dupsi MCT. Today I'm going to show you something new on this channel. We're going to look at how to cut and sew eight pieces gown. The gown is made up of the half bodies and the skirts. So today we are going to look at how to cut the skirt part of this gown. The measurements we are going to use for this gown is the shoulder 17, bust 40, waist 40, hip 46, length 52. So for this skirt part, we are going to need the waist, hip, and the knee length. The waist is 40, hip 46. And to get the knee length, you can just subtract the hip from 8. Then you get 38. And we are going to divide all this by 16. So the waist 40, we divide by 16, hip by 16, and the knee length by 16. So we are going to fold our material into two using the, the, the width for the flare, which can be 9, 10. But today I'm going to use 9. I'm going to fold the material into two. And the width for the flare will be 9. So fold it into two. This is the center part of the skirt. So I'm folding it into two. I want to cut the two together. The two center front. I want to cut it together. So now we need the hip line and the knee line. The hip line, you know, the gown, hip line is measure is the measurement from shoulder to your hip, and the knee line is the measurement from your shoulder to your knee. And the full gown, you know, is 52. So since it's the skirt now that we are sewing, you need to take away the 18 from 52. Then you'll be left with 34. So I'm going to add one and a half inches. So I, I, I want to add half at the top. That's the waist. Then I will add one at the down of the, of the skirt. So measure the half inch at the top. So I'm assuming I want to measure full gown, you know, I need to take away my 18. So let's use from waist to hip of, for the skirt. The standard measurement for hip line for a skirt is between 8 and 9. So for this skirt, I'm going to be using 9 from the top. Or, you know, I can use 8 and half. Because I've already taken half from the top of the waist. But I can just take my 9 from the top of the waist. Which is for my hip line.
So I'm going to connect it. Draw the line to to make a, a straight line for the ape line. You know, the ape line from the waist is nine inches. The standard measurement is between eight and nine. So I'm using nine inches. My knee length from my shoulder to my knee is thirty is thirty eight. So you know I'm going to take away my half bodies from this thirty eight, which is thirty eight minus eighteen, which will give me twenty from my waist. So for the skirt now, from my waist to knee line is going to be twenty. So it's good to come up by two two inches so that you'll be free to to walk it will not be too tight on your knee so but for this i'm going to use 19. you know you can come come up by two or one or two it depends on the measurement you have taken. Connect your line. For your knee line connects a straight line. Your hip and your knee line. So to make a full length of your skirt now, you know your full gown is 52. So you have to take away your upper bodies, which is 18 from 52. Then you have 34 for your skirt. So you add one and a half to it to make 35 and a half. No, if it's your guy, you need to take away 18 from what you want to measure. So you need to start your measurement from 18. But let's just make it simple. By starting from the waist, measure 35 and a half. For the length of your skirts. So now you need, like I said, that on you are going to 
divide your waist hip and knee length by 16. So waist is 40 divided by 16, 2.5. Hip 46 divided by 16 is 2.8. Your knee length at 38 divided by 16 will give you 2.8. Four, but we are going to use our hip measurements divided by sixteen to to take all the measurements on the waist hip. So we're going to use two point eight. So measure two point eight on the waist. Also on the knee. No, on the on the on the hip, also two point eight. Make sure your material is folded properly. On the hip, measure two point eight. On your knee, you measure the right, take the me right measurement. 13 divided by 16 is 2.4. So use 2.4 on the knee. So you now connect from the waist down to the knee. So we also connect from your knee down to the flare, you know, to to the to the last edge of the of the flare. You connect it to, to, to that to form your flare from the knee. So we now cut out our center front. I'm cutting two pieces together. You can cut it individually if you want. This is our center front. You have two pieces of 
or the center front for our eight pieces gown. So we now take one pieces out of the center front and we fold it into two to cut our center back. You can pin it so that it will not be moving. So we're going to add one inch to it. You add one inch to the waist hip. So come down on the hip, you come down by two. And you come in by half an inch. On the knee, you can just come in by half an inch. Right. And you connect it together. Trace it to the waist. At the knee, if you really want it to form a shape, you cannot, you can just start from the point, from that 2.4 point, you trace it down. Or you can add half an inch to it. You know, the one inch added to this back is just for one side, because you need only one side for your for your zip. I'm going to cut it, cut it out.
can notch it so remember that you are you need only one part of it so you need to cut out the other parts You notch it so that it'll be easier for you to know the points for you to join your pieces together. You need to cut out one part of it and be left with the other one where you where you fix your zip. So that's where you fix your zip. That's your center front, your, your center back. And you have two pieces of center front and two pieces of center back. Two pieces of center front, two pieces of center back. So now we need to cut our side. You will need four pieces of side. So you now take one of the center fronts, you open it up and place it on the material. Make sure the front is facing the front, that's the right side is facing the right side. Then, now to cut the side, we are going to need the our measurements, and now we divide our measurements by four. So we're going to divide our waist by four, hip, and our knee round by four. So we are going, you know, the side, the center front, we have two pieces of our center front, which you take together, and you know you need 0 0.5 of the two to join. So 2.8, take away 0 0.5, we give you 2.3, so 2.3, plus 2.3 because you have two pieces that will give you 4.6 you need half an inch to join the two so you take that half an inch away it will give you 4.6 so you now start your measurement for 4.6 you need to take away that 4.6 you place that 4.6 start your measurement for 4.6 then you count since the waist is 40 divided by 4 gives you 10 then you add 2 so that's your 10 then you add 2 inches sewing allowance on the waist so 
So also on your hip, it's the same thing. You start your measurement from 4.6. That's you take 4.6 away for your side. Then you will now use the rest to make up for your hip, waist, hip, and knee measurement. So it's 46 divided by 4 is 11 and a half. So you make it up to 11 and a half. Then you add 2 for sewing allowance. The same thing on your knee. Take away 4.6. So that means you are starting your measurements from 4.6. And you know your knee, your knee round is 38 divided by 4. Which will give you nine and a half. So take away the four point six. Start your measurement from four point six nine and a half. Then you can either add one inch to your knee or half an inch if you want it to really give you shape. So you connect it. Connect. Connect. Connect to give you shape. So now we need to cut out our sides. We need four sides, two for front and two for the back side. 